me for the direction of our process. For the best Jiu Jitsu guys, you know, that uh, I saw competing, for the best Jiu Jitsu team in the world today, you know, and, you know, one of the friends I did in the sports. You know, every time I sit down for you guys, more than arm bar, more than a choke, man, is the experience you have, you know, between us as a human beings, you know, making friends based on respect and discipline, man, and fun, you know, learning something, skills for your life that you take for, you know, your personal life, your job, your family, and I tell you, the best thing I did in my life didn't come from the bar that I, I went to before, didn't come from nightclubs I went before, it comes from the juice mats. So that's a big example of that, you know, never met him before, he came here, here, was a brown belt, that kind of that came here was like, you know, yeah, I was at, we are it. Before, like you guys saw, I was like a real heavy part of Jiu Jitsu in San Diego. So, everybody that's come to World Championship of Pan American, they stop by here. You know, as you guys know, that's one of them, man. An amazing kid, man. Very respectful, you know, and become my friend. That's that's George, man. We're here to learn here today. Have fun, enjoy, man. Guys, one of, one of ours, so feel free to ask him. You know, when he extended position, you know. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, brother. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's start playing some some guards, like some things that I've been doing lately. I feel like easy. My jiu is very, like, I try to go easy as possible. Not so simple, but easy and effective. So whatever you see, like, it's effective, that's what I'm doing. You know, I also don't want to make things way too complicated. So let's start. First, is standing up. Like, as you guys know, I used to play a lot of lasso guard. That was the guard that I was playing when I was active. I'm not going to go there too much because I already taught you guys that, I believe. But I'm doing, like, some other things out of the lasso guard that I still feeling, like, Confident that it's still a good guard. Okay, so the first one we're gonna start right here is gonna be with like the sleeve dominated and the cross collar grip right here. Okay? Since I got on this position right here, now I'm gonna do some switches. If I keep my leg here, it's gonna be so easy for him to just push my leg down or up and then it starts to his cross or even smash my legs. So as I got here now, guys, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna now start to switch my legs. This foot that's on the hip. Might sound a little bit weird, but we're gonna go and start to use it here on the chest. I don't really want to be pushing all the time, but I just don't want his hand to be uh, free and easy to access my foot. Can you go for my foot for real? You kind of can, but like you don't have that power, right? So you see, like I don't need to be pushing him, or I'm just like managing the shoulder right here. I barely like touching it, but my foot's right there, right? <laughs> now that I'm here. I like I, I'm safe without the leg being pushed down. Okay, so the first option right here that we're gonna start, guys, is with switching this de la Riva hook. It's gonna go for the hip now. So now I have really good control right here. Okay. So the first one for guys just to test the position, we're gonna do this. As his hand is on my chest, that's barely probably what he's gonna do. I'm just gonna like bring his hand out. Right. So I'm gonna do a little explosive movement right here with my hand and then my leg right away, okay? So as I got in this position, I have really good control here now to choose whatever I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for some omoplata or if I'm gonna go for the triangle, okay? Since I could break his posture right here, now I'm gonna go and close the triangle. I don't like go the collar, okay? You guys already know this probably from Clark, right? I used to love to do this and it's very effective. So I really recommend to do this. As I got right here, now it's just a matter of time, guys. As you guys got on this position right here, there's so many other options that we can work from here, okay? Now what I'm gonna start to do, I'm gonna like go his hand, I'm gonna crunch a little bit, go on the leg, and I'm gonna get sideways. I don't have any rush to come up. I can be here for a long time, okay? Control his wrist. Now I like to just to stretch my legs, and then I start to get away and then go for the Mopar, okay? So just like, nothing too crazy right here, but that's how we're gonna start the whole seminar, and then I'm gonna show you guys another options that I'm working from this guard, okay? So, control this sleeve, same side, pull, de la riva, foot that is on the hip, 
Now it goes on the chest. Okay? I'm just managing this chest right here. Literally, like, I break his grip to the side as I step my foot on the hips. So look, I switch. As soon as I switch, now I'm ready to go. Okay? That's going to be the control. Well, of course, I don't want to be here forever, right? So this is going to be quick. One, two. And then I start to control his gi. See that I'm kind of like relaxed all the time? I don't have rush now to come up. I'm just going to start to go a little bit more sideways. Have all the control here. Okay, now that I have the control, I'm going to extend my legs and then I go up. See, like his hand is like completely smashed and locked by my thigh and my ribs right here, right? So he cannot take it off. Okay, so I don't need to hold, I don't need to be managing here. I'll just go here because I want to avoid him to do the front row, okay? Extend my legs and then I can finally now let go of the collar and start to come up. Now when I come up, I need to go back here and manage the hand. Now from this way, I go for the other collar, control. And one thing that I like to do sometimes is hard to finish you guys from here, but I like to start to walk forward and with my hip out. So I can drop him on the floor, he's flat. Now there are two more defense, okay? Switch my legs, and then I can finish. Thank you. Any questions there? Guys, as you guys saw, his hand was in the collar the whole time until he extended the leg to attack the more So, but the whole time, you say, take your time, but you have to sit up. So that hand here, you're able to come, to keep the position, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I want you guys to feel that, you know, this control right here. I want you guys like, like right I said, hand. if I'm here, he's gonna kill my guard. We don't want that. There's options from here. Yeah, there is, I'm gonna show you guys too. Okay, but for now, I want you guys to, from the lahiva, go to the leg on the chest, foot on the hip, Feel the position here. Work with your power. Okay, let's go. Move a little bit now. Okay? Now, when you guys are ready, look. Break. Now, look at my leg. I'm closing. Okay? Close. And then I'm able to go. With your right hand still there, look. Still on the collar. Because if you try to posture up to, to escape, not, look. All there. my weight is on this hand, and I'm using a leverage yep. on my leg here. So he cannot lift me up. If okay. I let go of the collar, look. Yeah, so that, cool. so then you tell the other guys. Then you tell the other gonna keep you, like I say, you take your time right there, but that's where exactly. you might the position. I like, I even saw like some climbers technique. That's what they do. They hold something and then they bring their leg over. Right. And then they can hang all the weight here all day long. But if you're just on the hand, then it's a different story. Okay? So from here, now I start to go sideways. Now when I'm ready, I extend my legs. Come up and manage the wrist again. So extend my legs. Go back here, okay? Control the collar. Now up, forward and out. And he's flat, now there's no more defense now, okay? Also, we don't want to go here. Listen to me, mate. I go that way. Okay? Let's start with this one. Very basic, guys. Then we're going to have the more exciting part now. Yeah. All right, let's go guys. Two, to break. Okay, so now the second one we're gonna do here. I'm gonna keep moving his arm towards me as much as I can. I'm gonna now step on his hip. And then from this position right here, I don't even need to switch. I'm just gonna start to bring my hip all the way up. Rolls, and then I bring this hook behind his head and bring him towards me. I don't really need to bring the head over the head. Try to come up towards me. Look, mine is open, he cannot come up. And also bringing his head up, he cannot roll to the other side, to that side he can't because I'm hooking his head. So he cannot even come up or he cannot even roll that way to try to escape. So this is the only, see? I don't even need the other leg, just pinch right here. And then I finish. Okay, everything very tight all the time. When we play guards, going for this arm bar. When I go, everything needs to be very tight. Okay? All right, one more time here, guys. So, foot on the hip, he controls the pants, doesn't matter. Go back on the shoulder. Like I said, I don't want to be like exploding here all the time because then he can slide in inside my guard. I'm just managing here, okay? My foot is just there, right? 
if he tries to put some weight on me, then it's different. Then I push him back a little bit, I have the control. Now he's engaging on me, drop it from Adela Riva. The time that I go, hey, back up. Like I want him to steal all my control. Very stiff grip. Lock your elbow right here by your body. Okay? Keep your your feet, if you can even like grip your, your feet. Now is the time that I pull the collar a little bit, pull the arm, my hip goes all the way up. Oh. See my hip? And I'm pulling the arm. So he's already now huh? ready to tap. But like, let's not count with this one. If he taps, perfect, beautiful. I let go of the collar now, go on the wrist, and now look at my shin. Yes. Butt goes a bit round. My hook goes behind the head, and I open my knee right here. So I'm lifting the head and opening the knee. Squeeze everything, and then finish. Okay, if you guys have any questions, just ask me now, and then maybe it'd be others one question, okay? So he grabs right away, managing the shoulder, breaking the hips forward a little bit. I control right there. Up my elbow, good grip on the collar. Another tip here, guys, look. Don't go lazy on this collar. Every time, in my opinion, when you have a hand on the collar, go deep as you can. The guy needs to respect the hand right there. Right? Or he's be like with his posture very broke right here, or I'm gonna choke him. If I grab it here, the guy's like, he's not gonna choke me, he's not respecting me, he can posture up, then my guard doesn't work. Make sense, guys? So always go deep, okay? Now it's like, oh, okay. If I go too close, I'm dangerous with my neck. Make sense, guys? All right. So from here now, as my foot is on the hip and on the shoulder, just elevate my hip all the way and a little bit out here, okay? Look, start locking it up. Now, look my foot, still there, I'm kind of pushing him. Now I circle my hip around his arm. I'm really controlling the wrist right here. And now my butt goes straight to the floor, I'm not touching my knee. Then I switch from this transition, I just hook, open my knee on the chest. Squeeze and bring the other leg, squeeze. And then I finish. Whoops. Back and shoot. I need for a half of a second. When I'm passing my leg, look, when I squeeze right here, see that my foot's on the hip? I need to move that foot out of the hip now, my left yeah. foot. Okay? Oh, I clamp. Now look, if I try to submit from here, it's too loose. He's going to escape. I need to slide my leg. And now, when I go belly down, I'm already landing on my hip. Okay? So you guys saw that I circle my whole body around his arm? Kind of. <laughs> so try to do that movement, sliding your knee. Okay? One more time. It's gonna make a big difference now. Otherwise, the guy, the position is loose. Okay? So bring it up. Look, and don't go from here. Look at my hook where it is now. It's not on the hip anymore. I can finish from here. Ooh. But I don't want because some guys are tough. So to guarantee that I'm going to get it, that's why I go belly down. And start from here. Oh, it didn't work. Then I start to go with my hook behind the head. It's going to work now for sure. He rolls even better. Look, I'm always pulling his arm in. Every arm bar that I give, I have control of both, because I can manipulate his wrist to any side that I want. And now, so I'm pulling in to don't let him escape. Because sometimes, like, I got a little bit, he pop his elbow down, he lost the arm bar. So always, like, here, this is your main goal. Okay, let's try a little bit more, guys. First option, you guys, with the foot on the hip, and then I'm gonna send, show the second option with the De La Riva hook, okay? So, from this one right here, when I have all this control now, I'm gonna use again this, left, this foot to bridge all the way up, okay? So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna like bridge all the way up. Shoot right here now. Just walk, go for the triangle, or the arm bar. Okay? So right here, I'm working the guard. Very fast. Just pass the arm to the side, all the way out of your body. Now, like the 
trick that I like here in the triangle. I don't rely too much on pulling the head, right? Because sometimes my leg is open. So look what I'm going to do. The inside part of my knee, I'm going to bring towards my calf. And this one, I'm going to bring towards his head. I don't even need the head. So this is the adjustment that we're looking here for the triangle. Look, my foot is going out. Look. And then, later on, I go with the hand on the head. Okay, so you guys don't need that. So think about like closing the triangle. Don't keep it like open like this. I'm bringing my foot out and this one in. So see how small about this hole right here? When I do this, that's how we can make the triangle very fast and like killer, okay? The second option, so this one is with the foot on the hip. Second one, I'm gonna have two more steps. So from here, I'm gonna go De La Riva, right? I'm gonna keep all the foot right here. I push back and then I go back here quickly. Okay? So go back here, sorry. It's not gonna put this foot here. I'm gonna keep here, I push back, right? Even if he's controlling my pants, when I bring him over me, look, he needs to go with the hand on the floor to stop. That's gonna be his reaction, right? So look, I push, I pull, he goes with the hand on the floor, I don't let. I go all the way up and I shoot. Okay? So on this one, instead of having my foot on the hip, I'm gonna go for the live. So I push, he reacts. I'm trying to sit up, right? He reacts, I pull when he goes. I go with my knees. Then I finish. Alright? So you guys need to shoot your legs very high. And then make sure that this leg here, like I cannot go halfway, I cannot have any space here. My idea is always to, see that I'm grabbing his head with my leg up. That's how we need to set up the triangle to make it tight from the first shot. Otherwise there's too much space here, look, I cannot close right now, there's too much space for me to defend the triangle. Make sense? So try to grab him with your leg on. All right? So I have one question. Uh, I have a bad knee for Dale Eva. Okay. Is it just as good? You can do the same thing with foot on the hip, almost like a Tomanagi, yes. if I can't go Dale Eva. Mm -hmm. It's a little easier to take your foot out yeah. from the Dale Eva, but you can adapt, yes. Just lift them up, basically. Uh-huh. Awesome. Yeah. Okay? True. Right foot on the head, controlling the left heel. What I'm going to do here now, guys, look. He's like not trying to engage too much. He's kind of backing up more. Okay? So what I'm going to do here now, guys, I'm going to use this foot here on the chest to push him. And I'm going to sit up right here. Look, I start to bring him to the floor. Super easy to break his back. It doesn't feel like it's ridiculously easy. To do that okay so he's backing up trying to you know take the position out my foot was on the hip go for the de la hiba my de la hiba look pay attention like how i'm involved in his leg i don't try to do the de la hiba on the knee my calf goes on the knee and my foot goes on his groin almost you guys need to feel like this real hook so that's how we're like grabbing and involving the like, if I just go here, I feel like I don't have that control to do this position. Look, when I have this off, how much control I have on it. Okay? So, hand on the claw, the other foot stay over there, he's backing up, driving my head and extending everything. And my hand is like driving to the floor. As I got here, my Dela Riva is still over there. So hard for him to still coming up, trying to come up. That sucks a little bit, I push. And one more time, I got a demo. All right. One more time. Okay, so follow like this the steps, guys. The guy's backing up. It's not gonna be possible to follow him, it's very heavy guy. I keep with this, this is very annoying. 
Okay? Yeah. On the on the show, look my, my belly hip or where it is. See that my toes are almost on the groin? And my knee's not open, it's like tight on his leg. I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna start to lean towards his back. And after that, my hand needs to go on the direction to the floor. The hand that's on the collar. Okay, so look, start to push off. So both of my grips are pulling towards me. Okay? Good grips, everything tight, they don't work very well. Do you still try to do the ankle behind the neck or do you go straight into it? You can, yeah, you can. Up to you. I'm using a lot that hook. I feel very confident to do that position and no, nobody to now end up escaping from the, the arm bar with the, mm -hmm. the hook on the back. I like it, I love it. So try, it's a good, good point. Try as much, much as you guys can. Don't rely on passing the other leg on the front. So try something new and feel the control. Because a lot of times we're gonna spin and we're gonna need that hook. And if we're not used to that hook, we're not gonna do it, all right? Guys, they're gonna the talk, make sure you have the weight first and tell you guys to Yeah, back you know, up. Yeah, when the guy try to back up, you use his momentum against him. Okay? Yeah. Just flow the momentum. Oh. And, and then there's this like combination, right? With the sleeve, look all the way deep. If you guys do want the need the position, I don't think it's gonna work. Look, it's all the way. Extend. I'm turning sideways, go back. I'm trying to do not fall, okay? Turn your best. Okay, so look, standing, and, and, and. I see. That was my call at the end. Okay? If I don't do the collar, he's not gonna go anywhere. One more time. If I just extend him, he's not gonna fall. Okay, look, up. I'm not using the collar. Now look, I extend, as I push, oh, he's backing up. I don't like all what I have. Okay? Would you? Thank you. Students, like, I don't want to be like super relaxed right here, right? This guard, I need to, a little bit here to this side. I'm controlling all the, all the side of his body and just a little bit there. So like, one, two, three, everything is on this side. So I need to go a little bit on this side right here to be a little more comfortable. Make sense, guys? Now that I have here, I have another option of guard right here. As I have this foot right here, I'm gonna go back to the hip. And now, as I have the hip right here, look, my knees coming in. Nice. And now I have the leg on the semi X guard. I don't have the X guard yet. On this one, I'm not bringing the leg on top of my trap. I'm just having a grip on the pants by the knee, and his leg is laying on my biceps all the time. All right? He can't take this leg out. He can't pass to the other side. Try, go for it. Do your reaction here. It's just this grip on top of my arm. My elbow is up. Okay? Now that I have here, look, I have so many ways to keep him that way. All the time. Okay, first option. Can go for our knee bar. Brown belt and up. Not. You need to train with brown belts and black belts to try <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, that's fair. It's fair, right? So, right here, we're gonna go for foot on the hip. I'm pulling him to I push, and then look at a pull and bring my knee in. See, I have my, both of my legs open now. Now one more time, I close my leg. And now I go on the leg. All right? One more time, look, if I want to hear. Oh, triangle again. Because he has it, his hands on the floor. As I got here, I have other option. I step my foot on the leg. I push him. I a perfect knee bar here now. Right? Or you guys can go for sweeps. So I want you guys to go for the track. Since so my goal today is like go for submissions. Like let's focus more on submissions. But if you guys want to go for sweeps, put on the X guard. 
Live to it, the guy. Always here. Don't, you don't need to bring here. You go with here. Yeah. So one more time. Hand on the car. Foot on the managing the shoulder all the time, right? I go on the hip. Push a little bit. Tilt my head. I bring him to the floor. And now I close my leg. Look, there's even a foot lock here for one. Yes. Yeah. Right. But since I got here, I go under hook, control the leg. I can go for X guard now. Sweep, same push. Can come on. Back to the leg, knee one. Or, I want you guys to try for a lower back. You, know, you guys can come here if you guys want to, okay? On the pants, if you guys feel safer. Right? Look to you guys. Go on there, control the pants right here. Okay? Now from this position, we can keep pushing, keep pushing on. Have to try one more time. Alright? Like I said, if you guys want to from here switch to the pants, completely fine. To be honest, it's even better. Okay? And then go on the pants. Push over. All right, let's got it. Guys, do up on the entrance for five, ten times, oh, yeah. then start playing around with Try to do the swim dishes. There's so many options there, right? But the entrance is the key. It's the True. transition the key. You know, the from running to the La Riva to the X or semi-X. Semi That's going to be the challenge. Let's do switching the hand to the pants for now. After you guys get comfortable with the entrance, we don't need this one. You can't go on the right time, okay? But let's do this. Oh. Push, look at the lift up. Perfect. Oh, look over there. They keep the front touch. There you go. Huh? They keep the front <laughs> Okay, and after you guys got used to this timing, balance and balance, then you guys can go without the arm. But let's use the hand on the, on the pants, okay? And you? Got my legs right here. Yeah. It's gonna, like, I don't have, I have my open guard. You go for a guard. No hand, look. I do not worry too much. I'm just like recomposing. Look, that's what I want here. This grip. When he goes to the side, when I have the grips with these hooks, I'm not grabbing the pants. It's only a hook right on the joint. See the controller I have open any out now. And now this one is pulling towards me. Oh, Thursday is going to get her back. Not with this knee, pinch it right here. And look at this one. It's very comfortable. And I might even just going, like, hand it up, playing the, uh, falling, and then I have the knee bar right here. But realistically talking, we're not going to get the knee bar often, okay? So what I want you guys now to do is to just play with this. No hands. Just a foot on the hip. Look, little hook right here. Put on the hip, little hook. See how that foot over there? When he comes here, biceps all the way on the kid stand. Hook, not behind the knee, go all the way in. It's almost my elbow on the back of his knee. Look. Now I can start to come here. His leg is completely trapped. And now I can just adjust myself here. And get on that position one more time than we just did. Alright? His back's exposed, the knee bars are exposed. Oh, maybe he do the back step and sit on his butt. Oh, good. Alright? You guys got the idea. So, what I want you is you two guys to be comfortable playing guard, open guard. And let's say the guy, boom, boom. Break up grips, he goes for a Toriano path or something. No problem. Just to like the hips cape. And my whole goal, forget about anything. I want this great play. Can be here, can be here. Alright? 
then of course my hip comes in. And then the other leg comes out and I just wrap like this. But I'm not relaxing this grip. My whole goal, like I said, is manipulating this leg. Okay? And now from here, you guys can go to 50 50. You guys can just start to go to that grip. Push. Start to come around. All right, let's play that. Let's go on two. It's just another position you guys to see. It's the same thing we just did right now. But the guy's coming up right now, right? He's probably not controlling my sleeve. Or you just come up like whatever way you want to come up. So this is, because I don't need him to pass my guard for me to be able to go to that position. I just open my guard. My knee goes in. I keep my hook alive right there, look. Even with the grip, you can keep the grip. Why pass my leg? I want to grab this, like if I depend on my life on it. That's gonna be like the way I can now start to go whatever I want now. And then I can start to work from here. It has only one leg to stand up now, right? And then I go. Okay, so you guys are gonna use this a lot from close guard, a lot of nogi. That comes up, up, drop your hip and shift. When he goes in, can go here and here. Goes on that. Push, circle. Right behind. Now I work from here. Oh, the guy is gonna spin. No problem. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. That's it. That's awesome. 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 Again, thank you all very much to come support the you know the seminar. You know, you don't do many, you do all probably twice a year. And as you guys support, we're gonna keep it going, you know. So thank you very much. That's amazing, brother. Thank you. Uh,